Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was tagged by the wonderful Life Plasti to do the forever pieces or forever pieces in my collection tag and I was so excited to be tagged. Thank you for tagging me. And for anyone who has is not familiar with her channel, I will leave a link below and I definitely recommend you check her out. And uh, she does some really great product reviews. She's got really great pieces in her collection and I really enjoyed watching her tag video for this. So um, we'll leave a link to that below. And I was really excited that she did tag me. I've seen this tag going around a bit and um, I recently had done a top five um, luxury investments video and had included some things that I think are sort of my forever pieces, but I definitely missed out on a few others that I would have definitely included. And so I've pulled everything together and I have to be honest, at first I just had way too much stuff, so I had to kind of reevaluate what will actually last for sort of the rest of my life or forever, um, <laughs> for as long as I'm around. Um, and I have called it back to just the items um, like like I took out shoes because even if I were to buy the same pair of shoes, they wouldn't actually be the same shoes and um, some small leather goods that may end up needing replacing over the years. So these are the things that I hope to have for my lifetime, but we'll um, see how it goes, never say never. So um, yeah, I'm gonna jump right in and get started with a couple of SLGs. I'm gonna go pretty much by brand. I'll start off with Louis Vuitton since that is the vast majority of what I have here. So the first um, piece that I consider to be a forever piece in my collection is my Louis Vuitton passport holder. And I love this. I just got this, I think about a year ago now. It's come on me. It's come with me um, on my trip last year to Ireland. And where else have I been? Have I left the country again? I don't even think I have. I think that might have been the first trip, first and only trip I've taken so far, but I intend to take it with me this year since we are going. I'm so excited. We finally booked a trip in September to Paris and Amsterdam. So um, this will be coming with me for that trip. And since it's not something that gets used all the time I figure that um, I can probably make this one last a lifetime and I hope that it does get all really used and um, well loved because I hope to travel a lot in my lifetime. The second piece um, also an SLG from Louis Vuitton is my agenda in the MM size. I love this agenda. I think it is beautiful. I can't imagine ever getting rid of it. Um, even if it gets kind of old and worn, I think that it is just um, such a timeless, perfect size agenda for everyday use. I would like to get the de desk agenda as well to use for kind of a different purpose, but I love this one. I think it's, again, such a classic and something that I could see keeping on my desk in my life forever. My next Louis Vuitton forever piece would be my niece, BB. And I just adore this piece. I hope that I can make this last forever. If I continue using it only for travel, I think that that can happen. I just have some travel essentials right now inside here and I keep it all stuffed and ready to go. It is just such the perfect little piece. It reminds me of the Louis Vuitton trunks and um, I just think it's such a timeless classic Louis Vuitton piece. I can definitely picture using this forever. And jumping into a Louis Vuitton handbag, the first Louis Vuitton handbag I absolutely consider to be a forever piece is none other than my Speedy 30 in the monogram print. This was my first luxury handbag purchase and so it has such sentimental value I could never get rid of it and um, it's absolutely a timeless style handbag that is the perfect size for carrying everything and then some and um, I absolutely love it so that would be my first forever Louis Vuitton bag. And my next forever Louis Vuitton bag would have to be my Alma in the PM size. I actually owned a pre-loved Alma and then ended up over some time selling that one and getting one brand new. I do not use this bag nearly as much as I should, but to me it's like a work of art. Every time I look at this bag, I had actually seen Lux Mommy talk about her Alma. I think she has the MM size, but um, she has it in the Damier Ben, and it's absolutely stunning and she referred to it as a little work of art or piece of art and I kind of see mine the same way. It just makes me smile every time I look at it. I think it is kind of the most beautifully shaped handbag um, that I've ever seen. I just think it's gorgeous and I absolutely love it. 
And my last forever piece from Louis Vuitton would have to be my keep all in the monogram print. This is the keep all 45 with the bandolier strap. I love this bag. I could definitely see um, carrying it for the rest of my life. I'm really looking forward to the Vaquetta kind of getting that nice honey patina. Um, I do have, this is my one and only piece that I have um, stamped with my initials and I absolutely love this travel piece from Louis Vuitton. It's again, another classic that I'm thrilled to have in my collection. And jumping into Chanel, my first Chanel piece that I hope to have for the rest of my life would be my Chanel walk in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. This is my first ever piece of Chanel um, leather anything and I was so so excited to have it. Um, I bought this brand new. My name was on a wait list for a while at my local Neiman Marcus store and I was so so happy and thrilled when this came in. I just will forever have that memory of having the first Chanel bag I've ever owned enter my home and I just absolutely love it. So this for me is another one of those sentimental bags that I hope to have for my lifetime. And the next forever piece in my collection from Chanel is actually a reveal here on my channel. I have shown this bag on Instagram, but I have not yet revealed it on my channel. So here we go. It is right here. It is my new to me pre-loved Chanel Kelly bag in the black caviar leather with the silver hardware. And I am so thrilled to have found this bag in such wonderful condition. I mean, I cannot get over the condition of this handbag. It's just amazing. I do have it stuffed with a few things right now, but you can see she is in just great condition, which speaks to the durability, I have to say, of caviar leather because this bag is about 20 years old and it's just amazing and I um, absolutely love the shape, the style. Um, as much as I love the cocoa handle bags, I really love the shape of this one even more. Um, and I do prefer to carry a bag like this as a handheld bag since that is my sort of favorite style of handbag. I just could not be happier with this purchase and this is definitely something I could see myself keeping forever and I am so, so thrilled. I did get this off of a luxury, um, consignment shop called Boutique Patina. So they have some great, amazing deals. There was another bag just like this that may still be on their website um, for anyone who may be interested. I know a lot of people have um, commented on my Instagram page and asked where I got it. And um, they do have another bag just like this, but with gold hardware. And it is just a beauty, a timeless, wonderful beauty that I'm so, so thrilled to have in my collection. And my last forever piece from Chanel would have to be my Chanel Classic Flap in the medium size, um, black lambskin, silver hardware. This was my holy grail bag. I am so, so thrilled to have this bag in my collection. And this is the one handbag out of all my handbags that I can definitely see myself when I'm old and gray carrying um, pretty much anywhere and everywhere and hopefully um, still getting enjoyment out of because I just I just love this bag. I think it's another little work of art and I'm so, so thrilled to have it in my collection. So in terms of clothing um, to be included in this video, I don't know that most of the luxury pieces I own would last forever, but I do have one piece of clothing that I hope will last me a lifetime and that is my Burberry trench. This is the Burberry Kensington trench in the color stone. I absolutely love this coat. Um, I could definitely see trying to get a lifetime of wear out of this coat. We'll see how it goes if I don't stain it or completely destroy it. But um, it is such a well-made, beautiful coat and it's not something that I wear every single day. I try to use it somewhat sparingly, but um, it is just such a wonderful classic piece and I could definitely see myself wearing this coat forever. And the last of the forever pieces in my collection would have to be my wedding rings and of course my watch, which was passed down to me um, by my late father-in-law um, who passed away a few years ago. This watch, it is the Rolex Date Just 36 um, and it was left to my husband who doesn't really wear a watch and um, it is a little small on him so I wear it and I think of my late father-in-law every time I do wear it and um, 
it just brings us joy like everywhere we go we feel like George um, is with us so I am really happy to have this as well as obviously my wedding rings for sentimental reasons um, and I will say that um, I'm really lucky that I chose a I I was involved in the choice of um, engagement rings because I uh, picked out just the solitaire um, diamond in the Tiffany setting um, I can't even see that on camera, but it's just a plain and simple ring that I still love to this day. And I know so many people at my age or even younger years ago who have switched out their um, diamond engagement rings for other styles. They either tired of it or it was something that didn't sort of stand the test of time. So I'm really lucky that I chose the one I did and that I had a choice in the matter. <laughs> Um, which my husband knows me so well and always has and knew that um, I am the kind of person who likes to be involved in big decisions like that. So um, as not romantic as it may be, he did propose, but we went together to pick out the diamond and the setting and all of that. And so I'm really happy that I have this piece and it's definitely something I will wear forever. So that is um, it for my luxury forever pieces. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have um, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And otherwise, thank you again, Life Plasty, for tagging me. And um, if anyone else has not done this tag yet and wants to do it, don't be like me and wait around until you're tagged. Go ahead and do the tag and let me know that you've done it because I would love to watch. And I will see you all soon in my next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.